Good evening, my friends! Welcome back to the Subnautica. Marvy is upset that I'm not playing R-Type. I played it yesterday, that's good enough. I'm playing some Subnautica. Ding dang it. Ding dang it! Let's see here, we need to go... I guess I can go down here. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Ooh. You mean that right there? You brought it up, might as well go look at it, right? What the fuck is that? It's like a... It is... It's, hmm. Hang on, we gotta scan it. Hang on, just a second. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. No, he, he, no, he wants, oh, no, he wants to, oh! Oh, oh. Oh, man, this is some fucked up shit, dude. What did he do to me? Parasite. No, none of those. Herbivore is large. Yeah, there he is. Lily Paddler. Medium sized herbivore with an elongated, bifurcated torso and multiple bioluminescent adornments. Slow and vulnerable to attack. Long arms for seed foraging in the ocean floor. An array of feather like appendages display varied colors in a low light condition. When threatened, the paddler emits a pheromonal defense that disrupts higher order brain functions in certain species. At night, the paddler's illuminated plumage looks like a school of smaller fish. Perhaps convincing predators are not worth the chase. Okay. And no, I did not get all 99 ships yet. This is a nice place. Right here. Look at all these lily pads, too. You build a base on the lily pads. Let's put it right here. Seems like a good place. Get, got big giant vor, um, vor, vor whales around here. Blow whales. I can ride it. Cool. Really, bro? Yeah? That's what I thought. Get out of here. Really, bro? Yeah, bro? You wanna go? You wanna go? I'm gonna take my seat truck, I'll smash ya! What's up, gnomes? I will smash you. I've done it before. That's the squid sharks. No, wait, they're dead because I smashed them. Let's see what else we got here. Alright, well, habitat. Multi purpose room. need tit. Mm, nope. Mm, yes. Tit. And more tit. And more tit. Need bulkheads too, I think. Which is tech quartz. Uh yeah, there's a couple there's a there's a couple big scary things. Something tried to eat me earlier. I ran into it with a uh my my sea truck. 
Well, it did try to eat me, and then I ran into its friends with the sea truck and killed him. Whoa. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. So the reason why we're back on this awful world is that we're looking for our sister. Our sister has gone missing. Uh, she was part of a research crew that was in the South Pole of this area. And we need to figure out where she went. And as we were exploring, we got... Um, merged with a ancient consciousness of a civilization. So now we need to not only look at, for architecture artifacts, and we also need to look find the sister. Also, there is a lady who is in a prawn suit running around and she's telling me to get off her land stay off my land she was very upset at me she, she tried to attack me with her prawn suit that had leviathan armor on it which <laughs> were pretty cool looking actually in water she seriously was like get off my land she had that twang to her. What we got here? Aquarium module. Ah, yes, good. Now I can transport uh, sea creatures in my, in my tank. Which might actually not be a bad idea because I can just pick up a bunch of, uh, or breed, I can breed a bunch of bladderfish. New newt! Discovered. A newt fish! special. Yeah, nothing special. Ah, quartz. Exactly what I need. I should check out, check out Breath, Breath's Edge. Never heard of it. What is it? Hopefully it won't stare at me as I eat it. Oh, it opens up. Oh, Breathage. Oh yeah, I, I have played that, actually. Yeah, I've played that. It's the, uh, the silly, the silly game. Yes, I've definitely played that one. I played it back when it was in early access. I haven't played it yet since it's been um, uh, released in 1.0. Hmm. What's this?
alien artifacts. I love when the light doesn't light up anything. It just makes it harder to see. So there's just going to be... Yep. Alright, go in the tunnel. Going in the tunnel! Sea monkeys, what have you gathered? Let's find out. Ooh, afterburners. Yeah. One more. I like the sea monkeys now because uh, they collect stuff that I can scan. Nice. You came within range of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. You must continue to investigate. Oh yeah, that's the uh, that's the entity, the the consciousness that uh, is using my mind as a, uh, uh, a temporary storage unit. Because their little, uh, their little, their little cube ran out of power. You know, sending out SOS beacons. Why would I want to make an aquarium for my sea truck? I'm just wondering if, like, the fish multiply inside my, uh... Would they multiply inside my sea truck? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. had some copper for me. I'm sorry, little guy. Mm, getting a little too deep. A little too deep for my twuck. Yeah, so this uh, this character, she is part of a different company that was bought out by Altera. It is uh, Xenoworks. That's why the PDA sound is different from the first game. Sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. Hmm. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Where's my sea truck? Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Gotta get back in there.
Hmm. Yeah, we're going deep. I might want to make an, uh, an ultra capacity before I go down any farther. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I know, I know. I'm right here. So let's see here. I need... Did I even get ultra capacity yet? No, not yet. Still in the works. It's also made in a modification station. I'm, I don't know if I can make that yet. No, actually, yes, I can. I can make modification station. It's right... should be like... Right there. Yeah, there it is. Diamond, lead, computer chip. Yeah, okay. So I should focus on building the base right now. So I can do all that stuff. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Alright. So let's go back to green base. We got a we got a few quartz. We can make some lockers and drop some stuff off. Probably make some uh, solar panels so we can uh, get some power rolling. We're up high enough for uh, solar to work quite well. We have the sounds of the whales that soothe our nerves. It's beautiful. Solar panels first. So I need some copper. Slap down some copper. Make that moon cool too, so I can. Uh, Make a make a sea moth, I think. I don't know if I can actually make a sea moth in this uh in this one. I'm pretty sure I can. Ah! Nice, Sue. We got a home now. A home with lockers. good is that also in this game I remember playing with it a little bit you can make a giant um, large room and then you can uh, section it off with um, wall panels so you can make a big ass base within one easy step let's see here need a little fabrication I also need modification station battery charger would be good uh, fabricator copper quartz Alright, so we need some, uh... Why would you not put a locker? Well, I could see, like, if you want to put, like, lockers back-to-back -back in, like, the middle of the room, maybe. But why would you not put the lockers, uh, against the wall? That's just silly. Alright, we need to keep these power cells and batteries in here. Grab all this stuff. Alright, let's, uh, slap it in I need to go get my pengi, my pengi storage and move it, my locker. Or maybe I need to expand my pengi storage. Alright, quartz, uh, quartz and titanium and all that fun jazz. Put uh, silver, gold in here. Ooh, we got a shitload of silver, that's good. Bunch of diamonds and rubies. I'll put the sulfur in there too, why not? Oh. Need to make 
more. Uh, all right, we got a bunch of creature eggs too. <laughs> I don't know what these rock grubs are for, but I feel like I need to keep them. I might I might be able to uh, use those to um, I don't know tame a uh, tame one of those rock smasher shrimp. Who knows? Root pustules. I don't know those are for either. Flowering spores. I'm assuming those are going to be for young cotton anemone. Huh. Alright, flowering spores for benzene. Spiral plant clipping. I don't know what that's for. Where that's from. Hmm. You said we say swim? Oh, I gotta put all these posters up and stuff. Yeah. Now clear up some space. I said swim! How you doing, dude? Build another room. Should just slam down a giant room. <laughs> That's super fun. That's a good spot. Need quartz and titaniums. All right, nice. I feel like this may be a little longer than I should have made it. All right, let's see. Um, silver, diamonds, lithiums. Is there a short version? I don't think so, actually. I think that's the longest version. Yeah, it's just this one. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, no worries. I might... Let's move the bulkhead. Um... Of the hatch over to here. Let's put it right here. That way. If I want to expand, I can expand this way, and that'll leave me enough room to make another one. Make another multi purpose. Alright, let's see. Let's grab all this junk, and we'll put it up put my contraband up. Give me that glass. We'll leave all these ions and power cells in here. Grab all this. We'll name this uh, creatures. Alright, sweet. Ah, beautiful. Contraband. Focus. Yeah, focus. New sea truck. Keep calm and truck on.
one thing at a time. Winning takes focus. I don't care, man. I'm just putting stuff up. I guess I need to make a um, an actual desk and stuff to put that stuff on. That's fine. Let's just do it right now. Give me an executive desk. Oh yeah. An executive desk and an executive chair. No. Let's just do a uh, wall shelf. There we go. Penguin. Cat. Shaving. Cat. This cat is fucking huge. Also, her, or it's either the cat is huge or her head is really small. I mean, it's a nice mustache kit. I'm not gonna lie, it's nice. It's nice. Wait, can I can I scan that? Sam Spy peng Penguin Drawing. Thanks for everything, Fred. Sam. Oh, okay. You will not eat my toes. I'm sorry. They're off limits. Alright. We need a couple more lockers and then we'll be good. We'll just throw these in here real quick. Throw all this in there. It's fine. We'll separate them later. Nice. All right. So, eat the bugs. Moving on. We need to make modification stations, fabricators, all that fun jazz. I should probably grab my mobile vehicle bay from. The, I don't know why I didn't take it with me. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, so we need a modification station first off. Let's slap that in. Boom. And fabricator. Boom. Battery charge station would be nice. I think I can actually make that right now. Power cell station would be nice. Aquarium would be nice. Grow station would be nice. It'll all be nice, right? Alright, checklist. I need computer chips. Welcome aboard, Captain. Check. Diamond, lead. Alright, we have the diamond. We do not have the lead. No lead. Alright. We have the copper wire. We need titanium. Alright, we need a lot of titanium. There's a ship around here with shipwrecked stuff. Let's go get that. Station pilot, no. Hang on, now what's this? Oh, it's just table coral. All right, it's just a different color. I'm not used to it. I think the ship 
the crash ship is right below me. And I did the wrong thing. There we go. Let's go, boys. Burp, burp. You know, if I remember correctly, in the middle of this thing, there's a pathway. Down at the bottom, there's someone down here. Yep, there it is. Uh huh. I found ya. Time for story. Hey, you want me to like repair this or anything? No? Hello. Swim charge fin. Hey, that'd be good. Ten of flints. What can I eat this? Oh, I can. Yummy. It actually restores health too. It's pretty good. Omega Lab. Okay, so they changed this. So last time the um, the lady was here. This time it is a uh, ship or uh, abandoned. There's no one here. It's abandoned. Investigation notes: Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. That laboratory appeared to have been sabotaged intentionally. Do you know what it would have been used for? Look like maybe bacteriology. That's what the equipment was for anyway. Before a fire tornado ran through it or something. Do you think your sister had something to do with the destruction? I don't know why she would. But the more I see on this planet, the less I know what to think. Who would want to destroy it? Hmm. Who, I ask you, who? We've studied the first Karar bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original postules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Oh yeah, Altera is. Um, they found a frozen. They found a frozen. I said frozen. They found a frozen leviathan uh, infected with those green pustules. I forget what it's called, like the the cane or something like that. But uh, anyway, they want to use it as a weapon because you know 
future evil company. So I think the sister of your character um, said, no, uh And uh, she probably blew up a lot of shit. This is not my first playthrough, per se. I did do a lot of the early access stuff before they did a lot of revamping. Wish you were here. So this stuff right here is all new to me. Uh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm so that's afraid. Cool. That's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like hurrah, but... Sam is the sister. Vin, is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder. <sighs> All right, fine. Fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Kara bacterium from the frozen Leviathan here in this lab? Please don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. I challenged your spy penguin to a foot race earlier. Because you got tired of losing to me? Ouch. <laughs> what if I've been letting you in so I could see you smile? Cute. But I don't believe it. There are easier ways to make someone smile. Easier than losing a foot race? Oh, I think you're a woman with many talents. What are you implying? The artwork that appeared in my lab the other day? Oh, that. A study in Parhelion Red. I assume you had something to do with that. That depends. Do you like it? It's beautiful. Like the person who gave it to me. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were flirting with me. Do you know better? I... <laughs> don't know what I know anymore. Not when you're looking at me like that. Ooh la la. Romance with the bottom of the ocean. Things are getting spicy. Things are heating up. Alright, well. That's not what I was looking for, but it's... What I was looking for. I'm looking for a crashed ship on the edge. I can't remember. I think it was farther away. Far away from everything. Towards the edge. Yeah, this looks about right. He's knocked down. Really pads. Oh, yeah. There's the uh, squid sharks. They try to eat you. But then I just do this. Come on now. Come on. Oh, you're lucky I don't have my force power. But yeah, natural selection. Yeah, the... Um... What is this? The, uh, the orange stuff is the same as the green stuff. What is this? How can you not have something for this? It's so out of place. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's like, uh, like the very, very start of the lily pad stuff. So I think right over there is where I need to go. Maybe. Yeah, that's why my truck was damaged. I keep ramming into, uh, sea creatures. Hey, it does a lot of damage, you know, I mean, it's just, I mean, it, it messes them up. It makes them uh, think about uh, approaching me. Think twice. Mm, no, this is not the right way. Burp. I'm worried that uh, if I continue down that way, <laughs> I'll hit the void. I don't want to be touched by squi uh, leviathans. So I'll just keep, uh... Should be a big fucking crashed ship around here. Where is it? Ooh, what's this? Ooh! Ooh, probably an aquarium. I 
It'll be enough power. I got power cells backed up. Nice. Okay, so there's stuff down there. There's stuff down there. So it's not the void down there. So that's good. No ghost leviathans for me. You. Yeah, what are you what are you saying? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Uh-oh. <laughs> Ran out of power. <laughs> uh um, Okay, so it seems that they sucked my power or something? Hmm, he may have damaged my power. There. No, it's fine, it's fine. See, I kept backups. I kept backups for a reason. Oh, and it looks like... Okay, so the fabricator uses one power cell and... The other power cells used for uh, propulsion. At least that's what it looked like, because one of them was 45, the other one was zero. Hitting. That cute creature was trying to eat me earlier! And there's the ship. I find it. I find it. I find ship. No, wait, that's not it. I think I'm getting close, though, because if I remember correctly, all the floating debris was around this guy. It was trying to eat me. No, the one kind of like it. It could be the same. It could be the same one. You don't know. I said, no vor. Oh, there it is. Significant geothermal activity detected below. Beware of high pressure and temperatures. Wait, this isn't it. This is a different one. What do we have down here? Oh, it's looking quite, uh, quite nice down here, actually. Hey. That's a new one. Man, my truck's gonna get big. Big truck, big truck, big truck. I truly am making a truck boat truck. The artifact you found contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. Damn it, this is not, uh... Gotta get out of here, gotta get out of here. New technology acquired. Truck, 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 truck! Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. It'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
It's fine, look, see? Oxygen. Yeah, it's all right. My Sea Glide, I got, uh, I got replacement batteries. Battery. I got one battery. I thought ahead. Hey, there's some of that, uh, good old metal salvage. Gas Leviathan around here. No, oh, it's those guys. Ragged pitcher plant. We need water. The gel sacks are not enough. Yeah, so far the uh, those uh, suicide guys have not been in very narrow areas. The majority of them have been in big, big, big areas, so they're easier to avoid. Oh, that's nice. I saw a way to get in here. Need that quartz. 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 Oh! Oh! Nope. Maybe I can't get inside this thing. It's probably just sealed off. Yeah, I guess it's sealed off. Yep, all right, no, just, I guess it's, no, 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 can't get inside. Big piece of the engine or something. Let's, uh, let's go, let's go down here. Let's see what's down here. Spaceship Vor. I said no Vor! It's been banned! There it is. Oop. Oh, uh, don't go too deep now. So let's see, what do we got down here? Technology, the Recyclotron. I think it's the Recyclotron is what I picked up. Oh, I guess that's all this down here. Moon's job to be like that, exactly. I'm getting thirsty.
Oh, wee, wee, wee. C truck. Sleeper module? Damn, dude! There's so many modules for this sleep for this truck! I love it! I really am gonna be uh, towing a huge thing. Ow! What's this? Oh. Crash fish. Oh. Alright, didn't do anything. Creature discovered. Let's see here. Seek fluid intake. I know, I'm looking at it. Vital signs stabilizing. Mm -hmm. Oh. A new scream. Hmm. No way, no, maybe it's just that. Nah, it's fine. We're fine. Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Perfectly fine. Yoink. What's up, time? I can't get that one. <laughs> it's blocked. Not allowed. Am I scared? No. That one right there. That like sound. That's a different sound from these, uh, these guys. All right, safe in my sea truck. Or something. Delicious filtered water. Vital signs stabilizing. Yum yum. All right. Yeah, it sounds like there's a big friend nearby. Oh. No, that's a whale. Well, whales are friendly, yes. As far as I can tell, I'm sure if you swim into their mouths, they'll eat you, but you know, don't do that. Not that you would or nothing, you know, I'm just saying, just a little warning. Hmm. 
as I'm close by, I can pick up my mod or my uh, my mobile. My mobile, um, no, what's it called? Vehicle. We can pick up our penguins too. I need more pengies. Forgot about the penguins. It's all right. I didn't. You know the the, the dropship kind of looks like a uh, a bird, like a one-eyed bird. Like there's its eyes and there's its bill right there. It's kind of doing like a face. Penguins. I guess the uh, yeah, I guess the window on this side would be the eyes. I guess that's better. Come here, penguins. You're coming back home with me. Those lockers there. Let's look for any bladder fish I can snag real quick. Oh yeah, um, this guy. All right, let's go. But I don't have penguins in the storage box. Uh, don't worry about it. It's my penguin locker. I'm keeping them safe. Mm, I should probably get some more. It's for research. Hello, my friends! Hmm. You. And you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Oh. And you. Now get in the locker. Hmm. You, my friend, are the lucky one. Enjoy. Oh. Slams into the side of the ship. Maybe I should have kept him. <laughs> Get in the locker. I'm not a bully. I'm just keeping them safe. They did it again. He did it again. I heard him. All right, we're done there. Uh, let's see, down ship. I need the laser cutter to uh, explore that anymore. And then, let's see, green base, um, delta station, mining station. Meow, meow, meow. So what else? I need computer chips. I got a bunch of gold. I got a bunch of that. Yeah, I think we're good. I think I can make all this stuff now. Lead, though. I need lead. Ah, shit. That's right. I need, I need lead. I think lead comes from these guys. Oh, that's copper. That's copper. Yeah, that's copper. So it was lead from these guys? Nope. 
these guys. Oh, that's silver. And silver's nice and all as well, so it's not bad. Oh, he's trying to get me. He's furiously paddling. Ever seen Love, Death, and Robots? I have not, but I want to see it. See, look, I got I got my little penguin. Hold it in my hand. How are you doing, little buddy? Where the fuck am I? I don't know what I do. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do with it. Put him back in the locker. Put him back. Put him back. I know I need to see it. I really do. What is it uh what is it on? What's what is it on like YouTube or is it on like what station? Streaming or otherwise. Yeah, that's lead right there. It's on Netflix. Okay. Yeah, there's the light. I got done watching Invincible, and I have to say, I was actually very surprised at how good it is. It reminds me of the um, late 90s, early 2000s um, superhero Saturday morning cartoons. Not even Saturday morning, it was like afternoon and evening, like Toonami times. It was really good. It was fun. Yeah, silver, silver, silver. We need lead. Give me the lead. Of course, with the violence, yes. That's what people always talk about, is the violence. But it was actually... I actually enjoyed... It was... I watched all of it in like two sittings, and I liked it not for more than just the uh, the violence. Tits. I can just I can just go up for that VIP air. Hmm. Only at thirty meters. It's fine. It's fine. Look at this guy. I love the mad paddling that they do, man. Each story of LDR is unique, and none of them, none of them get the same story. It has its own animation. Oh, cool! Yeah, I like that when there's uh, multiple um, animators doing it, multiple groups. Stuffing in the lockers is all you can do with them. Well, good thing I'm ahead of the curve then, huh? Lead. I need. I need the lead. Yeah, tit's always nice, but I got too much tit. I need lead. Lots and lots of lead. Oh, maybe this is the uh, the coral that I need. No. Yeah, of course not. It's my truck. <laughs> my truck. Where'd my truck go? Ah, there it is. When I can put, when I can bring the penguins and I can just have them follow me, man, then I'll take them with me. But right now, uh, they can't follow you or nothing. 
I'd just release him and he'd run away. We can't have that. Gold and silver, and gold and silver. Yeah, tit. Titanium. I'm looking for tit right now. Well, no, I need lead. Oxygen. 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 This right here. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. Slowly making my way back to my truck. We'll get ourselves over to the green base and we'll start making some stuff you you shall become water come here get Shit. damn it got away all right good luck all right green base green base yeah there it is green base the amazing mushroom diet yet? No, I have not. I'm just establishing a base right now. Over in the green zone! Yeah, exactly. We've been talking about Vor all the time! I get to call the titanium tits. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's all this? Ooh, nice. Ooh. Oh, someone fucked up. Oop. Bullseye mushrooms. Oh shit, dude. I didn't know you could eat those. Here. Oh, nothing. Let's see here. Aquarium module. We already got that. Fabricator module. We already got that. And let's see. Jukebox disc. Let me get myself a jukebox. Battery. Nice. Oh, we don't need the sea truck. Ooh, water? Yeah, we'll drink that. Just inject that right into my suit. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess nothing much over here. Just a. Oh, wait. Hey, oh, 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 hang on a second. Uh, let's see here. Getting closer, another control will change the process of base building. Contains all the information you need in a single place. Energy delegation, slow sign. Control room. Moves and bounds away from V1, which literally just from the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Even on flat ground, rapid implosion, especially in this situation. Oh, okay. Get inside before I get eaten. Did you know there's a laser cutter fragment in an area that can only be accessed by a laser cutter? <laughs> Jasmine's the latest working volunteer to test the control room. Can I can make the control room. Can't I? Yeah, I can. This thing. Operational hub for observing and managing habitat power, structural integrity, and aesthetic design. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm on my way back to um, add in a bunch of stuff to the base.
the big thing is going to be the uh, modification station. Battery chargers would be nice too, but we don't have the power to really charge much of batteries. All right, let's move a little closer. Whoop. Hey, good night, Nums. Fish all day. Here we go. Actually, let's see here. Lamp to calm your nerves. Uh, we need another uh, solar panel. It's copper. See, what's the copper in here? Oh, of course he's in here. There we go, that should help out a bit. Let's grab some more quartz. All right, let's Welcome see. Aboard, Captain. Put some more stuff up. Let's see here. That's a little better. Hmm, strange. It's aesthetically pleasing. I mean, obviously I want pizza, but I want food now, too. Let's see here. I'm going to throw down some... Another locker. Plenty of titanium all over the place. All right, one more locker, we'll be good, we'll be good. This. Oh, I should probably drop the mobile vehicle bay fragment. Or the mobile vehicle, mobile, the mobile, the mobile, the mobile, the mobile, the mobile. these lily pads. I wonder if you could build on them. It doesn't look like you can. Haha! <laughs> what now, baby? Damn. You can't... Oh, wait, you can build on them! Ha ha! Ha ha! Yes! Ha ha! Take that! <laughs> no, I'm not gonna build on it. <laughs> I bet you it's actually like 
the poles extend through them or something. Something silly. I got. We'll call this uh, Pengi. Pengi. The only way to get up on top of the lily pads is to, like, jump with your sea moth. Can I free the penguins in my base? Let's find out. Let's grab one. See what happens. Watch, he's gonna just fly. He's just gonna swim away. Use storage containers instead. <laughs> See, the game wants me to store them! Even the game said, put them in a locker. <laughs> Dead boy! Dead boy right there! So, we need... Pop, 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 um, silver, copper, silver, all that stuff. Goes in here. Alright. We need one, two, three, four, five. We need five titanium. One, two, three. Alright, so fabricator first. So, two copper, two quartz. Fabricator. Ooh, nuclear reactor. Uh, there it is. Fabricator. I'm mad you can't put them right there because that's blue. Oh, that's where I put them last time, it was like on that spot right there. That's alright. So just put them right here. They could go in an aquarium. Focus. All right. Next is. I hate how they don't go away when you get done making them. All right. I need a computer chip. Diamonds. Why else you charge your held tool while you swim? Hmm. Nice. Nice. Right, there. Computer chip. Copper wire. Also need diamond lead. Diamond. Need gold. Copper wire. I'm pretty sure I've made quite a few of. Yep. Copper wire. And table coral. There we go. Make computer chip. There we go. Modification station is now online. by like clicking on it. No, oh, but you can click on it to go to it, so that's good to see. Alright, so let's see, copper wire, wiring kit, and titanium. We have a lot of titanium in the form of metal scrap. Uh, 
Alright, battery charger. Nice. Alright, now advanced wiring kit. So it's a wiring kit plus... Advanced wiring kit. Where's that bad boy at? Computer chip. I need another computer chip. Alright, no problem. No problem. Just gold and copper wire. We have plenty of all that stuff. Yeah, don't worry about it. This is not going to be a permanent place. And lithium. Power cell charger. There we go. Nice. Alright. Excellent. Modification station. We need four lithium. One, two, three, four, baby. Unequip that. Go to that. Ultra high capacity. This is just a place so I can slap down modification stations and whatever. Just get rid of all these posters and pictures and stuff like that. I'll be making a, um, the big boy. The big, uh, what's it called? So i just throw it right here. It's, um, this giant guy, wherever it is. Where the hell is it? This guy right here. The large room. It's like, I think it's like two or three of these guys smashed into a one big box so you can also segment it however you want to and I'm gonna be making that guy somewhere else uh, let's see battery and a thermal blade go we'll grab all the batteries and stuff and charge them up Can't wait for the power to just get drained. Probably build another um, solar panel. Two quartz, two titanium. And one copper. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make my truck bigger too. That's true. I got... Wait, I have just the aquarium model right now. Hey, my Velheim base was amazing. How dare you. I love that base. I can't wait to go back to it. Did I get enough for the sleeper module? Hey, if I did, I'll make the sleeper module too. Hit. 
So let's see here. What do I need for... Sea truck depth level 2. Ruby, enamel glass, synthetic fibers. Spiral plant clippings. I don't know where those are from. Hmm. We'll have to figure that out. I'm, I'm assuming it's down below where um, that red glob, those red globs are at. Okay, let's see what else do we need. I would like to get a laser cutter. That'd be nice. Uh, here we go. Alright, so the aquarium module, enameled glass, wiring kits and plasteel, and the sleeper module. Alright. Uh, the docking module, that's the one I didn't get yet. So the sleeper module is lead, fiber mesh, and plasteel. I got two lead. Not three lead, just two lead. So can't do that yet. Uh, enameled glass, I think, is more lead, too. Yeah, I need way more lead. It's all about the lead! It's all about the lead. Um, what was the horsepower upgrade? I didn't get that yet. Yeah, they're charging up. Slowly but surely. I need to get I need to make myself a bed. That'll probably help time-wise. Let's see. Fiber mesh and titanium. I like that red bed. That's a comfy looking bed. as you are sleeping. I was being pulled from illogical world to illogical world, with you at the center of them all. I was dreaming. The brain processes in mysterious ways when we sleep. Does it serve a purpose? It was such disorienting and fragmented thought. Random images and sensations. No one is completely sure what it does. There are theories, but every human dreams. Many other mammals, too. Is it enjoyable? It can be. We can experience impossible joy, and also impossible terror in our dreams. Sometimes I can fly. Sometimes I call out to Sam and can't reach her. Sometimes I'm in my underwear, defending my doctoral thesis. It's a mixed bag. Your biofeedback indicates that flying is the most enjoyable dream. I therefore hope you have many more of those. Mainly for my own safety. Oh, well, Alan's pretty nice. What a, what a nice super uh, precursor race. Let's see. I want to make a prawn suit. I want to make a prawn suit. You don't know where Nickel is. I'm assuming it's down. Uh, down by whatever that is. The AI is like, well, he's not an AI. He's a uh, collective consciousness of... Uh, the entire race. Well, I guess Welcome he was disconnected Captain. from his other people. So yeah, he's like the collective consciousness of uh, a precursor race of the architects. Suboptimal levels of lead. Yep, that's for sure. I remember playing early access, and I had the same feeling too. I always needed lead, and I could never find it. Let's go down to the pilot last known position. Hmm. 
She said, get off my land. And I said, no, I need to stay on your land. I'm looking for someone. I need food, shit. <laughs> That's, that'd be useful. Hang on a second. Let me, uh, let me grab some food. in Subnautica there was a lot of uh, what was it it was it was um, there was one material that you needed like a shitload of it wasn't like quartz or titanium eventually it was titanium you just could not get enough titanium it was like silver and gold yeah I was like I think it may have been silver was like super hard to get. They were a pain in the butt to get. Man, you guys do not have enough food down here. Alright, hang on. It may have been lithium. All those fun materials. Come here. That's a core avenue. Aquarium, now we already have that. That raw. I ate that newt fish raw. Mmm, yummy. be able to make it pretty far down here. There it is. There's that light stick. How do you intrigue without taking your suit off? Um... A series of tubes. There she is. Damn, she's just like right over the corner. Right around the corner, and I just kind of completely forgot. Or I completely jumped over her. Large glass. Oh god, that hurts my eyes. Don't look! So this is the size of the large room that I want to build. So it's it's and it's it's a lot bigger than um, the little multi-purpose room. It's not going to be so rusty either. Ooh, customized prawn suit. I want to make that. Standard issue MK3 prawn has been manually altered by its owner, exchanging one of its hot. Swappable work arm from the mandible of a young Chelicerite. Chelicerite. Given the range of the available high tech prawn modification in the non classified Altera fabrication suit, these custom mods will appear to be more of a stylistic choice than a functional one. However, the sharp claw arm could certainly be used effectively in the defensive scenarios by an experienced pilot. Custom suit also appears to have seen heavy use over a long period of time, judging by the barnacle overgrowth and permanent damage sections of the exoskeleton. The owner does not want you messing around with it. Can you take the suit? No. That would be cool, though. 
so this is where I uh, this is where I last ended up in the early access was this part right here when you walk through this door so this is uh, all gonna be new starting from here on out and I'm excited after this part I told you to stay off my land you trained that thing Yo, Next dog, I heard you like I'll Borderlands. Let ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. That's a big puppy. Hmm. I thought that was a weight right there. <laughs> a little ten pound weight. Oh, let's see what we got here. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. I felt a suction. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath. But would she sink before or after I died of thirst? I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. At least I wasn't going to die of exhaustion. Now, those reapers, they're practically all muscle. But there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much. But I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's rib cage. Okay, so this is all Leviathan uh, skin. Nice. Good for you. Ooh, primitive. New technology acquired. Perimeter defense. Test override module. Sounds pretty good. Test override. There's a snow fox. Hmm. One of three, though. Snow stalker. That's, uh... All right, settle down. Yeah, that was a, that's a that's a that's a key right there. And she was just giving it to the dog to uh, munch on. Can I pet it? Let's see what happens when I get close to it. I don't think. No, he just doesn't. Nah, nothing happens. He's just an invisible wall. Well, visible. He's a visible wall. Alright, so everything's new after this. So cool. Hey, what's down here? Yeah, we gotta disable the tower. Yeah. Seek fluid intake immediately. Okay, okay, I'm working on it. This, this, this. this is a cool place down here. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? What's this? I 
I'm gonna die of thirst. I think there's babies, um, if I remember correctly, there's babies of those snow stalkers that you can pet, maybe? Plus ten, plus ten. No, I can't drink my pee. Alright, so we can probably disable pilot last known position. No, actually, let's keep that there. Oh, hey, well, hang on a second. What do you guys got here now? Okay, let's put in our, uh, our, uh, Perimeter defense. Thermal reactor module. Oh, for the prawn suit. Oh, alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Just grab some of these. I can keep them. Squeeze out the gel. Hive mine are never alone and grow in massive clusters. They are physically connected by a root system which sends out chemical signals in the presence of a large predator. The signal activates a chemical reaction with its green porous membrane, resulting in a visible change of color and its bioluminescence. Uniform change of color grants the hive mind the appearance of one large interconnected organism formed as a camouflage called disruptive coloration, which is confusing to predators. Smaller sea creatures confuse the color, chain of color for sunlight and are drawn towards the cluster. Well, that's cool. Mito. Vital signs stabilizing. Ah, uh, yeah, put the gel in me. I am. Yeah, I need more lead, too. You see any lead? Better, better eat it. Or no, don't eat it. What if I can. No, it doesn't do anything. I need I need more lead for me to get the uh, aquarium so I can get those bladder fish. I need that damn laser cutter too. So let's see, what did she give me for blueprints? She was like a... Oh, here it is. Parallel processing unit? Hmm. Um, I saw a Reaper, uh, or a, a, a Leviathan, but no, uh, no Reaper Leviathan. Hmm. It's probably something... 
No Reaper Leviathan, just a um, just a big Leviathan. I don't know what that Leviathan's called. We should probably go. Uh, we should probably go shake hands with it, introduce ourselves. Hey, how you doing? Do it. <laughs> yes, do it. Okay, fine. I'll go do it. if I remember where he's at. So he's going to be closer to... He's going to be by down ship. So he's going to be over here. Get a puppy too. I wish. I'd totally stuff one of the puppies in the lockers if I could. Great. Oh, there it is. Alright, so the Leviathan is gonna be. He's by the down ship. Which direction he's at, though, I'm trying to remember. It could be more this way. Okay, so I'm gonna grab all this titanium, this salvage. Oh, he's he's over that direction. Hit as I can get. So, our Leviathan friend should be over here. No, wait. Have I just been flying? Have I been going right next to him this whole time? Where is he at? Like, I should be able to see him from the ship. Oh, there he is. No, that's a whale. Damn it. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I was just seeing the whale. I'm sure we'll run into him. 
as I go towards uh, this artifact. I know he's around here somewhere. Or at least he was last time I played. Things may have changed. Oh, shush. That's so weird, I thought... Oh, wait. No, that's another whale. Did these guys... Eat my batteries? No. It was just the, uh... The reactive barrier activating. Hmm. Oh, there he is. There's Leviathan. An active volcano detected nearby. He's got uh, he's got pointy bits. Let him smooch. Give him a smooch. He's so graceful. So elegant. Watch as he slowly makes his way towards me. He's like, no nah, man, no, I'm not I'm not it no, I'm not interested in you. No. Not me. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Set up right here. All right, let's see here. We got enough of that. Got enough of that. All right, let's go. Fingers crossed, huh? No, I don't want to smooch him yet. He might instant kill me, and I don't want that because my truck is pretty low. Just in case. Ooh, now it's looking. Cool I might need to take my prawn suit. Could provide useful information. Processing. I can visualize a location where we may find an important component for my body. Is the image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. A stark surface landscape, dangerously cold. This is the AI that is uh, in my brain right now. It's not an AI, he's the uh, collective consciousness. So now he wants me to go to the surface. But I need a bunch of lead, not lithium. Good thing I got that ultra capacity O2 tank. Yeah, he's in my brain. How do humans cope with the loss of memories? Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that 
I'm warning you. If you call humanity inefficient one more time, uh, I will swim us both into the mouth of the Leviathan. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. okay. How inefficient. Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not yeah. really <laughs> I like how she's talking. Well, I'm going to uh, uh, drive us into a Leviathan as it's happening at the moment. It's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. Mm -hmm. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Well, I guess I better... I guess I better repair my ship after I got smooched. Smooched. Oh, a moon pool would also be nice too. That'll be uh, that'll be nice. Moon pool, moon pool, moon pool. Where is it at? There it is. Ingot, lead, more lead, of course. Yeah, he was just he was just playing. He was just he was just playing. That's all he was. Just playing. It was just a. It was just a hot. It was just a howdy doody. How you doing, neighbor? I think what he wants me to go to next is... Well, I can't tell, actually. A little, uh, little cloudy out. Turn to crab. Yes, of course. I think this is where I was already. I already explored this spot. That oh, was actually nothing. Just a little breathing hole. Kind of looking around, exploring. Oh, 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 there we go. This is where I was at. Yeah, I went in here. Because this is the spot. Yeah. I already went there. Let me grab some of these and eat them. Get kind of hungry. Don't want to get shot with some uh, super cool spit. Oh, Delicious. All right, moving on. 
Let's see what other wonders we can find following the sheet. Mm, mm, mm. I love the mmm, mmm, mmm that she makes. Brr. So many bladder fish. Damn, son. Okay, alright. Now we can actually use the lights. What do we got? Welcome back. You missed the uh, the smooching. Yep, we got smooched. As the uh, as the character was talking about, uh, she said, "If you don't, if you go and you fish it one more time." I'm gonna drive us straight to a leviathan as we're being eaten by a leviathan. That's alright, I'm sure we'll find another one. Hmm. This might be the right way. Definitely new. Oh yeah, that's right, the jellyfish. I forgot about these guys. Let's go touch them. Hi, jellies. Oh, that's why they're called eye jellies. Of course. Should have known. Hey, there's a uh, there's a big cable right here. No. Nope. I guess it just looks cool. Yeah, my bit rate. Yeah, my bit rate. Hmm. I guess so. Uh, let's uh, let's follow the. Uh, Follow this cable down here. Let's see what these eye jellies are. Um, they're herbivores. The eye jelly resides in deep water. It's made of three distinct body sections. Tentacles, the main body, and the bell. And tentacles are covered in bioluminescent nodes, which attract prey. When the tentacles are touched, they emit a shock through specialized cells called 
nidocytes. Within these cells are venomous harpoon-like structures called nematocytes. They're triggered by touch. The eye jelly gently drift with, loco with little locomotion, but they can attract movement with their large, singular eye. Okay. There's a, uh, the base over here. Like a dog right here. Can I eat it? No. Damn. Snow cone. Can I eat it? No. Damn it. Can't I eat it? Steam vent. Give me heat. Good to know. Hmm. I feel like I need the snow fox. that run cycle. <laughs> Don't look too hard at it. I'd like to know if I could eat it. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier. Fire Robotics Center. I know I can eat these. Fevered pepper tree produces fruits with high levels of capsaicin, which helps raise body temperature and stimulate blood flow. Ah, yeah. They look like peppers. Oh, they look like, um, they look like bugs. <laughs> this is what I was going to say. I don't know why. I did that. They are peppers. They look like bugs. Sam worked. Hover pad. New blueprint synthesized. 
Nicer. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans oh, like laser cutter. The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. Yes. I can now make the laser cutter. Fantastic. Is required. Cool. I have all that. Excellent. I can make it when I get home. No box fragment. Hell yeah. Spy penglings. Glacial basin map. New technology acquired. Previously explored research locations accessible via spy pingling. There's a couple spots. Zeta's dead. No Zeta. He likes hoverball. Mine. Mm hmm. Fish. Cold suit? Hell yeah. Oh, there's Zeta. New team, practicing mindfulness as leader. Team is a sponge. Just wait for you to soak up. Alright, whatever. Bye, Pengling. Titanium wiring kit and rubber. Cold suit. Snow stalker. Snow stalker. Five of the mesh. Combined with a frozen water sauce, water purification tablets can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected you know, some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. And why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. Uh, I, I need to think. I have to go. Alien intruder. Someone's looking a little sus. Ooh, a fridge. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh. Hey, Sam. Oh, Fred. hey there, Pengling buddy. <laughs> yes. Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? Fred's the best. I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out oh, there. Hang in there. The clicking sound? SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penglings. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait, are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... A hydra? Uh, well... <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I, I like that analogy. Makes it hard to get along sometimes, but Yo, what's up, it's never Mara? dull. That's why Fred's the best. Oh, 
think you brought a friend. Spy pangling in training. We're recording audio, is that okay? Of course. I have the photos you sent. Um, what am I looking at here? Kara pustules on the frozen Leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penglings. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. Let me just take it up with Mark HR. Take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. Hey, guys. I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> so, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern hmm. with the frozen Leviathan. I investigated and you uh, investigated. I saw poison. That's why plants yield components that can be used Maybe for the chemical purification of non-potable water. Inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it, and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Kara mutation experiments. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now. You're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> Can we play the game now? Fine. Mm hmm. These are little, little penguins. By penguins are creating so many new research opportunities, they're perfect for exploring tight spaces you can't squeeze into little pockets hiding in the lights and resources. Penguins can't carry much, but as an added bonus, the local fauna seem to generally ignore them. Little robot friends are too cute to get destroyed. Okay, so I gotta make a penguin to get in there. What else can we do up here? So we only need the snow fox if I want to continue on. But I don't have uh, all the fragments yet for the snow fox. Getting kind of cold. Ah. Now we do. Let's see here. I need. Gotta make a cold suit too, and the smoke is just stuck for. Magnetite? I don't even know where the hell that is! That's why. Snow stalkers. Get out of here. Go get. 
Get out of here. Get out of here. Go get. Get out of here. Bad dog. here don't worry about it they can't they can't get in here spike penguin log two it's too cold here i descended from tropical people and for the record i am suffering cold weather and the frequently frequent storms really put a damper on research native animals have some great environmental adaptations though snow stalkers have this thick double layer coat that keeps them warm and dry on both land and water snow stalker fur lined suit would be amazing only problem is how to get the fur can i actually catch and shear them I like having all my limbs, thank you very much. Maybe I can use the spy penguins. They could gather fur scraps, which would definitely minimize the need for safety precautions. Alright, fine, I'll make a spy penguin. Damn! Pangling. Although I need to be at a fabricator. Oop, don't want to go down there. Oh wait, I can go down there. Floodlights. If I remember correctly, those guys turn on when you light. We light them up. Glow fungus. Town of Dark Cave is marked by its exhibition of biofluorescence, a unique ability to absorb and emit electromagnetic radiation. Only some of them, though. And lots of fiber mesh. Oh, this is a good snowstorm. Can't see shit. It's a perfect idea, a beautiful idea to go uh, travel right now, right? Steam vent. Come on, steam vent. Come on, steam vent. You bastard. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
cool. They put me in the sea truck. That was nice of them. Oh, I got a fabricator right here. Duh. So I'm starting here. All right, so I need to make myself a little pangling. I need wiring kits, which is silver, silicone rubber, and batteries. Oh, and I need a remote too, so titanium copper wire. Can I just use my penglings in my locker? Alright, well, let's go get some silver then. What are you guys looking at? What are you looking at, huh? So I need two silver, I need rubber. this nice. Plenty ones too. Hmm. What would happen if I hit them? All right, nothing. <laughs> All right, nothing happens. It's fine. Coming through. going deeper. Deeper's good. Sometimes.
I feel like that's the void. the void. If not, maybe, maybe not. But it kind of just uh, dips off and it's dark. That's a big one. The vent garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Wait, do I have to go inside of it? Do I have to vor? Do I have to get vored? Uh, well, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Gotta do what you gotta do. I'm ready. Garden stationary Leviathan that anchors itself above thermal vents and houses aquatic floor inside its bell shaped interior. Anchoring tentacles, six tentacles, anchor the vent, garden, transparent bell, symbiotic relationship, docile, nutrient rich, harbors flora. Hmm. Docile. Alright. Let's see, it looks like that's where that's where stuff comes out. So we gotta go down here. Oh, here we go, boys. Mmm. I have been bored. Red wart. Common plant. Spiral plant. I think I need these. Spiral plant, remnants of muscle striations. Yeah, here we go. Spiral plant clippings.
Alright, well, I guess, uh, I wonder if we can build inside of this. How the fuck do I get out? I guess, uh, go the same way I came. Go through the mouth, I guess. No, I can't go through the mouth. I gotta go through the butt. Well, I can't go through the butt. I gotta go through the mouth is what I meant. Yep, here we go. I wonder if those plants are only found inside of him, which is what it seems to be. of oxygen remaining. Alright, alright, alright. I'm in here now. Well, that's cool. Now I need, uh, I have quite a few things that need that muscle striation thing. The clippings, yes, yeah, synthetic fibers. I need those to make the prawn suit, I believe. No. New. No. What do I need? I need synthetic for something. Hmm. Yeah, I'll figure it out later. We got what we came for. Spires are substantial thermal vent structures, hospitable to coral formation. Oh, oh, there's another one. Also, there's the uh, Leviathan. What does this one have inside of it? Oh, same thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Pew 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 pew! No! Ew! Gross! It's got a butthole! It's got a butthole mouth! Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop it. Well, now I got to scan you. Damn it. It's like a giant shrimp. Very angry shrimp. <laughs> Jellyfish is like, what the fuck, man? Stop fighting on me. Where'd he go? He's fast.
No! Stop! No! Stop it! No! Well. It's okay, I'm right here. I'm back, ass. I don't think I lost anything. No, I didn't lose anything. He was very hungry. Yeah, he's really fast. Like, he may be harder to snag. Then that's definitely a reap, definitely quicker than a reaper. It's like you can only get like his head for scanning. to me I actually get more food and drink after you eat me <laughs> so you're actually doing me a favor buddy this one's red I think the other one was black wasn't it oh he just oh yep okay he just ate that guy Maybe the red one goes faster because it's red. No, dude. God damn it. Almost done. Almost scanned. Damn it. Get back. Yeah, yeah. Into the wall, into the wall, into the wall. Yeah, there we go. Telecerate. He's just I guess they are red, he just looks black in this environment. Alright. No, it's a different one than the one I've been uh, messing with. Let's read up on it. So Phi is where I was at. I'm over by Omega. So yeah, okay, so that was the void that was uh I was hitting up to. There, this is I don't know if this is as big as the um other map. It must be deeper. Who knows? Probably not. We'll see. Uh, let's see, alien data, you know, carnivores, fruit shark, crash. How does a crash fish, a carnivore, it blows itself up? Crypto succus. Shark like beasts easily identified with carapace thin bony plates. Plates are defensive bony structures. Crypto is such a bit of contradictory creature, despite its fearsome appearance. 
It is more roar than bite. While territorial, the Cryptosuchus tends to retreat from confrontation after being attacked once. A newt fish. Small predator which eliminates the need to overcome its prey by simply swallowing it whole. Penguins. Uh, they consume less cuddly than they look. Rock punchers. Large crustacean. Tiny larva. Avoid or redirect with food. Okay. Snow stalkers. Entering snow stalker territory is, if necessary, bright light and unpredictable noises have been shown to deter attack. Squid shark. Assessment. Avoid. Symbiote. Uh, feed mostly on overconfident predators which attack the titan hole fish. Catch or neutralize to approach the titan hole. There we go. Blue whales. Chelserates. An aggressive leviathan with an enormous beak. There is limited knowledge of this alien monstrosity at this time, and many on 4546B hope it stays that way. These large mandibles of the Chalcerate are composed of a bony material that crushes and saws through bone and muscle with ease. Mandibles open up while the backward facing teeth dig into flesh and prevent easy escape. The prey is pulled towards the Chalcerate's mouth and devoured. The exoskeleton. The body is made up of thick segmented exoskeleton. The exoskeleton grows in flexible overlapping plates. This provides protection from the atmospheric pressure while giving the Chalcerate a maneuverability to easily pursue prey. The Chalcerate is a predator animal, predatory animal that patrols the warmer waters found near thermal vents. It can be seen feeding upon other predators and fish. As it attacks, the Chalcerate emits a loud screech that disorients its prey. Smaller fish, it can temporarily stun them, which gives the Chalcerate, the Chalcerate more time to attack. The Void Chalcerate. The Void Chalcerate is a rare mutation of the Chalcerate that prefers to roam in dark open waters at the edge of the sector. Ah, so... Instead of ghost leviathans, it's going to be void chalcerates. I need to get some uh, seeds so I can plant them. Oop. They do. Show me to its mouth. <laughs> what if you can? Wait, I said no vor. Vor is not allowed. What the hell? Strong with you guys. Plant clippings. Titanium. I did get eaten by a shrimp shark, that's true, but it was for science. I had to scan it so I could read about it. That is good. Wanna get eaten by a whale for science? That's different!
How dare I go against the viewers? Too bad! Kill a bunnies versus the devils. Bad kitty, but she has a rabbit on her on her shirt. Okay. Hang in there. I like the last cat better. anymore at least for now what I do need to worry about is where I'm gonna get some fucking lead play little lead anywhere Grab some titanium. We'll go make some grow beds and all that fun stuff. Especially out here. Let's see here. Indoor grow bed. No, I need exterior. Yeah, exterior grow bed. Of some, um, the grow bed lets you grow plants and vegetables, providing flavorful options for evading scurvy. Ah, flavorful options, excellent. So I need to go grab some some of the um, damn it, what are they called? Kelp. I need to go grab the kelp. Go. And some indoors. Go pick up some of those potatoes. I remember that. Uh, I remember where it's at. There was the uh, the down ship that had those. Hmm, the jukebox. Let's see what we got the here. The jukebox lets you listen to music in your base. No one said survival couldn't be funky. What is the purpose of this device? It plays music so that I have something to listen to. What is music? I think it tells us what happens within it. Is it mathematical? An instrument of science? Does it help with your research? It does. Just not in the way you're probably thinking. Music and math are strongly related. Rhythm is math. Harmonies can be math, but music as a whole is more than that. We experience it on an emotional level. I sense it has an impact on your pulse and breathing. It makes you move differently. Humans are controlled by music. We make music and we're moved by it. 
Not everything is about control, Alan. Whoa. Plant bees. I wonder if I can plant bees. No. Drop this guy. Load up my sea glide. Seeds. Ooh, there's a lot of seeds. All right. So we'll be good on that. We need to get some kelp. Plant some kelp. Oh, I can have a. Uh, a fresh supply of rubbers and lube whenever I need to. I do need food, you're right. Let's go get some food. I need food badly. Don't mind me, everyone. Let's see if I can grab those. Um... Oh. Oh, there he goes. He, he's gone now. Through the world. I guess we don't have to worry about him anymore. That's how you use it. Oh, no, silly me. It's an active item. Hey, check this out. Boom! truck drifting. Oh, these mushrooms are here. Vital signs stabilizing. Num num num. Quick, easy food. Just shove those mushrooms in your mouth. Nom 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 nom. I'm dying. The reason why I came over here is that I need these guys. Yes, there it is. The seeds. seeds and we're gonna plant them. Then we don't have to all the we don't have to come back to this place every day. Just to get more lube and rubbers. Make sure we're active with this item. And I need to find more lead. Lots and lots of lead. Yeah. 
keeps going through the world. Hey, guess what? <laughs> just like I just like that noise. <laughs> There we go. And let's make some uh, lube and rubber out of these two. These four. Welcome aboard, Captain. Or I guess just just some lube. We'll make some rubber later. When they grow, I guess. Well, let's also take out the uh, battery and charge it up. We take a nap. Take a little nappy nap. I guess I'll take both of them. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe discharging all that electrical power. Uh, it may drain the battery a little bit. Just a, just a little bit. That's nice. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine, though. It's fine. Let's charge it up. Good to go. Alright, these guys should be grown. They're getting there. What can I do? I gotta make the uh, I gotta make the penguin. I need rubbers, so those are coming. I have, do I have silver? I'm pretty sure I have silver. I have a lot of silver. Way too much silver. I'm gonna make a few of these then. that from uh, from the truck and two types three titaniums actually and copper wire two copper wire or two copper for one copper wire Do I have at least one rubber? One rubber? One rubber. Nope. No rubber. Okay. Guess we'll make the remote. I 
I guess I, mean, I should probably bring uh, the snow hound or the snow fox materials as well. But I don't have magnetite, so I can't do that. So that makes me wonder, should I even go up there? Yeah, well, I need laser cutter. All right, two, uh, two diamonds, battery, sulfur. Laser cutter. Good. Where are these guys? Oh, we can make, grab a couple of these. One, two, one, two. That's enough for two batteries. Welcome aboard, Captain. Two of these guys. Make a couple batteries. batteries inside them as a replacement. Battery. Need a copper wire again. Now I'm out of copper. No, no, no. I, I already made it. I already made it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. How long until these are grown? 61. Eh. 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 I wonder if I can sleep again. Pass the time. Damn it. What? No. Mm, let's see what else can I make. There was something I needed for the synthetic. It wasn't that, it wasn't that. That I could make a prawn, but I don't have anything to dock him with. Oh, here it is. Prawn suit death module. That's what it was. Sea truck depth as well, actually. I can make that now. Synthetic fibers plus enamel glass plus movies. I could actually make that. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, lead, diamond, we need rubies, and some glass. Depth of module upgrade. Oh, yeah, I need the synthetic stuff. I need that synthetic stuff. Uh, ruby and spiral plant clippings. We'll go grab that depth module, and we will upgrade our sea truck to Mark II. Six hundred fifty meters. All right, that's a little better. So now I can easily go explore uh, whatever the hell that is. The body cache. Let's go do that right now. Actually, why not? Well, actually, I need food and water. Yeah, I can get it on the way. So right below me. Six hundred and fifty meters, easy peasy.
Maybe the sea monkeys uh, got some new stuff in their nests. They do, actually. but it doesn't count. Damn it. So it just respawns. You just can't... You just can't double dip it. What a shame. Take me down, baby. Take me down. Oh. There it is. I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint. I thought it was going to be even deeper. Let's just, there it is. Technology acquired. Marine life analyzer. Ooh, I can make ion batteries now. Hell yeah. Um, oh, so now I can make... I can now make a um, aquarium. Alright, good sea monkey. Good sea monkey. Sea monkey, I'm hungry. I'm dying. Can you give me the aquarium? No, not that aquarium. I mean like the big one. I don't see it. I guess maybe that was just, uh, that's just a, what that was. Yeah, so what I got was the ion battery. Oh no, it, this does work. Ah! Well, shit, let me just make this right now. Extra burst of speed at the expense of some power. Oh, maybe not. Damn. I thought it was just like a constant upgrade of, uh, boost. But of course, why would it be? Why would you get something cool like that? Why doesn't it get better? It never gets better! I need to figure out how to get back down to that one spot with all those, uh... Psychedelic animals that were causing me to go nuts. I should build a base down there. That's a pretty cool place, actually. Sorry, buddy. I appreciate the thought, but not right now. Right down here is what's her face? But well, let's go down deeper. If I can. Hmm. What is going over here?
What's this? Nothing. Oh, it's just nothing. Eh, don't worry about it. It's nothing. Okay. I think it's one of those uh, power extender thingies. Power transfer. I am picking up a signature of an important item belonging to my people. Oh, good. I will share its location. Okay. Oh, good. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Hmm, good. It's by the, uh, probably actually up on the, uh, the frost planes, whatever they're called. Ah, this looks like the place for me. Maybe I can find some magnetite. Ah, that's what those are. Transferring power from this place. But it popped. There I was. 500 meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. One hand gripped the monster scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. A reaper. Wounded, maybe, but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. I damn near carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's ribcage. I killed that beautiful terrifying creature and I made for the surface when I caught my breath I realized we'd come further than I thought I was surrounded by watery void just me and ocean nothing else hmm well we got ourselves a badass here How come the uh, how come the ghost leviathans didn't take you out? Oh, that's why the swollenness was keeping them away. They do a name. Pingling. Just breaking my shit. Breaking the shit. There you go. Still suit. Yeah. Reclaim moisture from body and provides clean, drinkable water. Well, there you go. There's there's your PP. There's your PP suit. In case you are wondering. Do we have down here? Oh, now 
ain't this different. the crystals. Blue silicate mineral which forms under high temperature high pressure conditions resist the heat. Thermoelectric. Still no magnetite. I don't know where it actually is. Morganite is a rare variety of barrel. Durable mineral consisting of aluminum, aluminum silicate. Striking purple coloration is an indication that trace amounts of manganese were present in the formation. Features a multiple circular nodes that are filled with thin green membrane. They're scattering along the luminous white dots, mildly sticking amidst pheromones that draw small fish and microbacteria that get caught in the membrane and then digested. Huh. Like this little guy. Hey, give me some more weird shit like this. Class creature is near. What? What do you mean? I don't see no Leviathan. It's probably in the crystals right there. Everybody gets a worm. Ooh, magnetite. Hmm. Now see this. This is how you build the tension. Well, there it is. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Tension gone. Dissolved. There was tension here, but now it's gone. All right, well, it's over there. Whatever. It's cool looking, though. Oh. 
Oh, what? Boo. Let me just grab you from behind the crystals, if you don't mind. That was silly. You're a cheater. That's what you are. You cheat. I was back here and he grabbed me. Well, at least I'm full of water now. Oh, come on. You can't, you can't just... Just, just clip through the world, why don't ya? Nah, it's cool. I don't care. This is me not caring. You cheater! I'm gonna come back with prawn suit and punch you to death. That's what I'm gonna do. Don't worry, the Shadow Leviathan's gonna come in and uh, scoop me up. Got that shadow grab range. Oh, shut up. Don't oh, be quiet. You're gonna grab me. I know you are. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Man, got it. <laughs> Swim! 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 Oxygen. Swim! I'm gonna make it. 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 I made it. Woo, baby. A little close there. Ah, a drink of success. That's what that is. All right, well, now we got magnetite. We can now make the snow fox. And we got kyanite for doing stuff. I guess it's needed for a lot of modules, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, snow fox, just magnetites. Let's see here. Yeah, thermal. 
more magnetite if I want to make those vortex torpedoes. Uh, sea truck depth. Oh, horsepower upgrade. Oh, I got the afterburner upgrade. Okay. Uh, let's see. Still see my, need some of that nickel. Need magnetite for the scanners. All right. I guess I'll go grab some more magnetite. At least two more or one more. Maybe not. Well, I, I definitely need it for that executive toy. I'm gonna grab you from so far away. Too bad, so sad. Man, it's so cool, and then he's just like, hey! <laughs> hey! I was actually feeling the tension. And then he just popped up. He's like, hey! Clipping through the walls. Moment ruined. I do appreciate all the bladder fish down here, though. Deeper. Even deeper. Eh, I'm probably going to run out of oxygen. Spawns. Well, I think it just spawns at this depth. That's always good. We always need more lead. Oh, go away. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. Go away. Go away. You big stinky. Nope, you stinky. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. You big baby. That's what I thought. Ugh. You don't want none of this. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, my sternum. It's all kind of good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, all right. Let's see here. I feel like I should move over here. There's nickel down there. Hmm. I feel like I should try to get some. Let me jump off this stuff first. So in case I get, uh, you know, eaten again. Maybe I should just run into it. This is like a good option, right? Let's just ram it. What's he gonna do? Eat me? You can't swallow this. It's too big for you. That was a warning shot. Leviathan down here is a bitch. Too deep for the truck. Ah, there's another one. It'll be fine. Deeper. Head deeper. Why is it green down here? Hmm. The crystals in 
this environment are confusing my senses, and yet I feel certain there is something important below, a facility or a body component, perhaps both. I cannot tell. Oh, good. So glad I upgraded to the Ultra Tank. Very expensive. I see you over there. You the bitch. You ain't gonna do nothing. Go and try it. Try it. See what happens. See what happens. Yeah, right. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing. All right, I think I'm done out here. Cool place, though. I like it. Be nice if I could find one more nickel, but I don't know where they're at. I think the one I found was just a fluke. I mean, it could be. Nah, I think it was a fluke. Just a very lucky spawn. How the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> ah, here we go. To cool up, five head. Yeah, we can do about it. We can do about it, huh? Get out of here! Yeah, okay, see what happens. You see what happens? That's what I thought. Bitch. Don't touch my truck. truck speed. That'll be great. There it is. Come on, sea monkeys, don't let me down. Sea monkeys. Come on, sea monkeys. I don't see any more nests. Where are the nests? Show me your nest. Oh. That monkey got eaten. Body type. Oh, that's what I found already. Yes. Yes. Wait. 
Wait. Could this be? No, it's after burner. Damn it. I need the horsepower upgrade. See, monkeys, you let me down. Again. Ah, oh, finally. Fresh, beautiful, clean. Uh, ocean. Air. Seed clusters are working out quite well. All right, let me make some rubber. We'll go from there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Creature is this? What the fuck did I find? <laughs> That'd be great if it's like a little baby leviathan. All right, um, we can make our little pingling now. Benglings. Scientists may have never discovered that benglings incubate their eggs in small cave burrows, often alongside thermal lily roots. Wow. Amazing. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. My pen, Gabby. Well, I'll just load that battery and pop it in there, and that, that'll be that'll be it for today, I think. Whatever, get it all done. <laughs> all right, excellent. Thank you, my friends, for joining me on this uh, lovely expedition. I did say this. What are you talking about? Oh, it was saving. <laughs> Oops. Uh, thanks for joining. Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. Farewell and bye-bye.